Okay, so guess what? Back out here in Aztec, New Mexico, as you can see from everything behind me. We're gonna try this one more time. Cause you know what? I wanna make it to this freaking land site. I wanna see this plaque, whatever it is out there. I wanna see it. I'm not giving up. Why? Because I ain't no sissy quitter, okay? All right, let's do this. Round two, here we go. So on the second time around, came across some cattle. Pretty neat, they're just out here eating. They have left some fresh tracks. So let's keep it moving. <sighs> so here's the deal. When you come out here, there will be a sign right over here. I think it's right. Uh, I'll have to research and see exactly how many miles this is. But there'll be a sign like this. It says five mile loop. Do not go this way. The trail that you want to take in order to get to the site is right down here. This is where I made my mistake the last time I came out here was I took the, the wrong direction. I should have gotten the app and uh, from, you know, from that scan code thing or whatever and just gone off that way, but I didn't do that like a fool. But yep, right here. This will take you directly to that spot. We are almost there. I'm getting goosebumps. I'm very excited. Always wanted to see this thing since as far back as I can remember. So let's keep it moving. So we are getting pretty close to the spot. I just came to a uh, mark that I want to go ahead and uh, just go ahead and pause and take a break. Just get a load at the scenery in the background. You can see the Rocky Mountains around here. Uh, right over here. They're right there. That's Colorado right there. But I'm starting to get pretty tired. This has been one heck of a hike. This has been on my bucket list for quite some time to see this thing. And so I am super excited to be close. We're nearing the end of the journey. And so let's just keep on moving, shall we? So yeah, there's the mountains right there. It's a very beautiful spot out here in Aztec, New Mexico. Highly recommend. Highly recommend you guys come check out this area if you do like to travel like I do. Check out this dream catcher out here in the middle of the woods. Pretty neat. Just protruding itself hanging on this tree. Very interesting. So guess what, ladies and gentlemen? After much further research and hiking and doing all that I've been doing the past couple years to actually get to this place, I have finally made it to Aztec, New Mexico at the spot. So, without any further ado, Let's take a look at this area. I have goosebumps running up and down my arms right now because I have wanted to see this thing my entire life and now that we're finally here, finally get to look at it. This was an incredible hike. It's, it's, it's been awesome. I, it was worth it, I think. So let's take a look. Stay tuned. So right along this mesa, if you look down, there's something down there. What it is, I don't know. But it's something all right. Anyways, after the trail finally ends, it takes a couple of miles to get up here. You will see this tree right here with a arrow pointing in this direction to go this way. So the trail will lead right into this area right here. My mind is just absolutely blown. That's it right there, that's the spot. This place has been well kept hidden from the public's eye for quite some time. It's like I said earlier in the vlog, 
usually when you think of a place like this, the first thought that would come to your mind would probably be Roswell in New Mexico instead of Aztec. Yeah, check. This is a rock formation that someone made of an alien face. Now, I don't want to desecrate anything. I do think this is super awesome. See, these are the two eyes. Here's the nose. Here's the mouth, the chin, and then that's supposed to make up the face right there. <sighs> Super cool. And so then right over here is the plaque dedicated to the crash site. Check that out. Recovery at Heart Canyon. On or about this site, March 25th, 1948, a spacecraft of unknown origins crashed or landed on this mesa. It's alleged, it is alleged the Los Alamos radar station in nearby El Vado, New Mexico, tracked the errant landing to this site. A high security recover operation led by the Air Force and 5th Army Division was responsible for the removal of this craft. The recovery operation took, took approximately two weeks with all remains being taken to Los Alamos Laboratory for scientific study and evaluation by some of the world's leading scientists. Later, it was rumored to have been taken to Waite Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. The recovery of this craft by the U.S. government and military was one of the most secretive recoveries of a spacecraft with origins unknown since the similar recoveries in Roswell, New Mexico, eight months earlier. Whew. The spacecraft was approximately 100 feet in diameter and 18 feet tall. It was one of the most intact crafts the government had recovered at that time. Sadly, all occupants, as many as 16, died as a result of this crash, making the full disclosure of both purpose and origin all but impossible. This plaque has been placed here to bring awareness to any event that has been kept secret for 59 years and it's a significant part of our nation's history Scott and Suzanne Ramsey March 25th the year 2007 Wow that's mind-blowing so basically for 70 years this plaque has been here well it hasn't been here for 70 years but this area right here has been kept hidden from the public eye until now well not now but it's not very well too, too well known. I've known about this place because I've heard about it because this is something that I have followed since forever because I'm open-minded and, you know, I just want to know the truth. I want to know, like, what's out there. Do I believe in aliens? I don't know. But supposedly there were three, you know, beings recovered from a spacecraft on this area. I don't know what to think of that. Is it true? It could be. I don't know. There's a lot of things kept from the public. So, I don't know, just to be here right now, it just, it just blow, it blows my mind being here right now. I cannot understand this. I've known about this area my entire life, and to finally be here is just incredible. It's a very beautiful area, and yeah. You can actually see the, the access road over here off to the um, to the south side, which I believe the story would have been that you know some oil field workers would have noticed this like a light coming from this area right here, and they were the first ones to discover the thing. And so, yeah, I don't know. It's probably all true. It's just been kept very very well hidden, and. That's it. That's it. Mexico. Insane place to be. Small town, but very cool. But if you do if you decide to take this trail, make sure you bring plenty of water. And not, you know, sodas and energy drinks and stuff. Water. Something to keep you hydrated. And something to keep you going. Because this hike can be extremely tough if you're not careful and also you know just to be on the safe side 
make sure to uh, stay away uh, or just be careful just be cautious because there are snakes and coyote and supposedly there's been rumors of bears being seen around this area so do take caution if you do ever decide to come out here like I have because um, you don't want to be running into any bears so yeah my mind has been well yeah one more look at this this area yeah the face here alien face I also noticed this spot too there's this spot right here of an X I'm not sure what this symbolizes maybe this is where the where the craft might have been found I don't know it sounds from the picture or the plaque over here that it was a pretty big ship a big aircraft and so yeah it's crazy that is so crazy to be here right now. My mind is just absolutely blown. Very, very cool. Definitely one of the coolest things about New Mexico is the scenery. It looks like it's gonna rain. We've got just this huge cloud over me right now. So it looks like it's probably gonna start downpouring on me. Which I don't mind. I, I really enjoy the rain. So I say bring it on. But please don't rain over here, my good buddy, uh, my good buddy E.T. Or Mac. Or what other alien names are there? Gizmo? No, that's a gremlin. <laughs> but anyways, yep, that's it, guys. That is the Aztec New Mexico spot. That's all it right there. I don't know. I might hang out here till it gets dark and see if anything interesting happens. We'll see. So stay tuned for that. Anyways, like I was saying earlier, here's the uh, the access road for the uh, people who work in the oil field. Go out to those oil compressors. They would have seen right from down here protruding itself over here over 70 years ago that happened adventures that we go on just blow my mind so
I've got this tree completely collapsed. That's weird. That's how it's growing in from right here. Pretty neat. These Rocky Mountains right here are just incredible. It's just too bad they're not snow capped this time of year. Still very cool to see though, nonetheless. Wow, it's right here. No, it's right after this. Did we get off the trail? Mm -hmm. Hold on. We're lost. No, we're not. See that? Makes an alien face. Yeah, that's over here. Look, there's an X right here. And then the plaque is right here. So, we did decide to come back out here for a night vlog and just see what it's like. I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty creepy, but sometimes it's these things that kind of make you feel alive. So, alright, you ready to go back to the truck? <laughs> yeah, okay. did you video the alien face? <laughs> 
I did. Also got that X right there. And then I have a photo of this and a video. So basically, I already explained this earlier in the vlog, there were some workers down this hill right here who would have spotted the glowing light coming from this hill that we're at right now. And it happened 70 years ago. They would have been down there and they would have saw the light from up here. It's pretty insane. Yeah, we're on a mesa. There's some uh, oil rigs down there. That's where they would have spotted it. <laughs> Are you freaked out? A little, because I didn't know it was there. It's crazy seeing it at night. Oh, I thought it was a rush seeing it during the day. It's way more of a rush seeing it at night. Yeah, we did. Watch out for this cactus. I think we're going off the trail. I do too. I hope we're not wrong. Okay. Here we go. So we want to step right here. in the hills over there. Something, something red struck. It might have been lightning. Well, that's it. So, that was it. If you want access to a quick route, I was taking a closer look at the map, and there is a shortcut if you take, say, on the main road, that comes up to this place so you don't have to hike the whole way. But, oh, 
it's pretty scary seeing that thing at night, I'm not going to lie. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm going to leave links in the description for a couple documentaries, or I think there's just one that I've watched a couple times, and it's pretty intense. So, I right, hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Please subscribe for more adventures. And until then, this is Hilarious Jammin' signing out. Good night.